Thank you for plugging into this Family Life News podcast, streaming issues-driven, family-focused news. Hi, I'm Tracy Lynn, and this is our summer-long staycation destination series. Every Friday during the Noon Report, we'll spotlight a staycation destination that's not far from home and won't break the bank. This week, we're taking you to the Deposit Lumberjack Festival in Deposit, New York. My name's Luke Tucker, and I'm the president of the Deposit Lumberjack Festival. When I think of lumberjack festivals, I think, vroom, fire up the chainsaw. There's going to be a lot of fun action happening. Yeah, there is actually going to be a lot of chainsaws. Saturday, there's eight contestants vlogging. We're a big stop on the circuit, actually, since they lost the Boonville show this year. I think we're the biggest game of logging stop in New York State this summer. There will be some chainsaws and some trees falling and some really cool, fun stuff to see. And these guys are professionals. We actually have the national champion of the game of logging competing in deposit this weekend. Wow. Well, obviously, there are going to be lumberjack competitions. What else can people expect overall from the Deposit Lumberjack Festival? We have your typical fair. We've got games and rides for the kids. We've got really good food, some local food, some fair food. And we also do some unique stuff like the lumberjack competitions. You know, we got the chainsaws going all day Saturday. We actually have a 100 vendor craft fair on the other side of town Saturday. So, You can park and walk to that and walk to the festival. We have a 5K run. We also do a traditional raft race where you make your homemade rafts or your kayak and you decorate it all funny and nice and you just float down the river for like a half a mile. It's just a fun little float. So that's kind of the weekend in a nutshell. We we usually do three days. We're packing everything in two days now because when we were planning this in January, we weren't really sure what was going to happen. So Friday the 16th, Saturday the 17th, it's going to be really fun. So, Luke, if if someone cannot make both days, they'll still have fun if they can only come to one day, right? Yeah, like I said, jam-packed Friday and Saturday. I've done this for five years, and this is by far the most I've ever spent on fireworks. We're going to have a huge fireworks show Friday at dark as well as there's some live music, uh, the Woodshed Profits. We've got a craft beer tent in there for adults, and they do clams and shrimp. All the rides and games are going Friday and Saturday, so there's something for the family to do, everybody in the family. And what's real nice about the festival is there's free parking, free admission, the concerts are free, everything's free. There's no cost. The only cost is if you want to buy something, which I absolutely encourage. But, you know, you don't have to spend a penny. You just come down. You get to see professional lumberjacks competing. You get to see really good local live music and just, you know, get out and see people, which really we haven't been able to do for a long time. So it's going to be a nice event. The weather looks really good, too. So so that's going to be happening tonight. And the Woodshed Profits. Do you have to have a wood-themed name to be part of the music lineup? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, no, it's very, uh, <laughs> it's, it's ironic, isn't it? In my opinion, they're, they're one of the best musicians in the uh in, in the region, they're super good, really talented guys, and uh, they've been playing around the area for a while. There's some local fellas, so uh, it's a real big treat. Luke, you already said it's free to come. Should people pack a lawn chair? Absolutely. Bring your lawn chair. The best view of the fireworks is at the park. So, yeah, you can bring your lawn chair. You can you can set it up, sit down and watch the fireworks. You can just hang out and watch the scenery. There will be picnic tables and benches and you know, hopefully if you're watching the Woodshed Profits, you're up dancing anyway, so you don't need a lawn chair. But <laughs> So, um, again, one more time, what's the name of the park there in Deposit where everything starts tonight? It's at Fireman's Park in Deposit, and once you get off any of the Deposit exits, you'll see signs and, and directions. It's a very small town, but it's going to be a big festival, so we're going to have signs and directions to get to the Fireman's Park. I know if you go 22 Borden Street, you'll see the festival. Great. And Luke, so is there a place people can go online if they just want to double check before they come? Well, most of our information is on our Facebook page, and that's Deposit Lumberjack Festival, Inc., on Facebook. So it's happening tonight, so July 16th and July 17th in Deposit, New York, the Deposit Lumberjack Festival. Yeah, it's our 45th festival, too, so that's kind of a significant number. And hopefully after 45 years, we figured out what we were doing. So Very okay. cool, Luke. So should I call you Luke the Lumberjack? Yeah, actually, one thing that's cool is 
I'm not a lumberjack, but the <laughs> senator, um, Fred Akshar, and I, every year we throw an axe against each other. It's kind of a fun thing, and the crowd gets into it. I happened to beat him the last couple of years, so he's due to beat me. So That's happening the first night, right, tonight? Tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to do the axe throw. Fred Akshar and I will throw against each other. It's just fun. Hopefully we can at least hit the target, and that's when we do the opening ceremonies. That's when the band kicks off. So Luke, the so-called lumberjack versus Fred Axe the Akshar, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Lumberjack Luke versus Fred Akshar, yeah, that's it. We hope you've enjoyed coming along on our staycation destination. You can hear all the podcasts online. Join us next week as we visit a new spot in Pennsylvania.